welcome along and welcome back to Silverrun Forest. Today we are headed over the other side of the river because we're going to get started on our logging um, in our new area over here. I think this is area 11 if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, we've got our new header on the front of this, same as the old header we had on the hired version of uh this piece of kit and uh we're gonna create some logs some six meter logs because they seem to be the best size for us to do and uh we're gonna try and do it up the top of the hillside here now this is gonna be now this is gonna be quite a climb up here so let's see how well this volvo handles it should should do fairly well I'm not expecting it to have a huge problem. Uh, it is... Uh, oh, wow. Not overly happy, in all fairness. That is quite a slow march. Managed to get it to go a little bit faster by sort of going diagonally up the hill and doing it that way. Yeah, that's much better. Um, we've only got a maximum speed of six miles an hour, and um, we're going two-thirds of that. But I want to get up the top here and uh, and and work really what we've got up here. Uh, we will bring it down using well, actually, oh, we got twenty eight thousand, and I think I have a brilliant idea for something we can do. We've got a tractor, and we've got a hill. This is the perfect opportunity for us to use a yarder. So uh, let's pop into the shop and have a look at how much one would cost. So we've kind of got two choices as far as a yarder goes. Uh, we've got 38,000 for the smaller one or 95,000 for the bigger. We'll have to hire either way because we only have 28,000 pounds at the moment. 110 to 200 horsepower or 225 horsepower. So we could only really run this one, um, but we could put this on the back of our little tractor. Uh, have it up the top and send the stuff down. So I'm going to do that. We're going to go and jump in our little Kubota tractor and head down to the shop. We're not actually that far off being able to afford to buy one outright. We need about another 9,000. And I think with our setup here, we'd probably be able to get that. But uh, I think for now, to get us started and to give it a tryout, we'll just lease this. So no configuration on this, just a straight out lease. 110 horsepower, our tractor can easily handle. And yeah, a uh, couple of grand with 380 every day. That will be perfect for us. And I think I know how I'm going to set this up as well. Oh, why don't we put some weights on the front of this tractor uh, if we're going to be doing this as well? I think that might be a good idea. Not a uh, not a thing we could have done earlier on. So into here, we will customize this. We might give this a repair while we're down here as well. Uh, front weight. Let's put the uh, full whack on. 900 for that. Front three point actually would cost us nothing. You know what? I'm going to put the front three point on this. I think that will be a better setup for us. Uh, costing nothing. Yeah. And uh, if we're doing that, let's also then... Uh, get into the shop and grab us a front weight for this because uh, that will give us a chance yeah for 900 we can put uh, a fairly hefty weight on it, actually 750 kilograms so customize that uh, we don't have the Kubota so we'll go with jet black by that yes okay I think that is a good setup oh and as I said we're gonna give this a quick repair 840 keep that going and perfect so yeah good uh, good sized weight on the front not massive um but considering our choices it's uh, not too bad uh and then um we've got the uh, yarder on the back to bring this up to here of course manual attach so i've got to get in here and grab that avoid the yarder and this has to be sideways on. In fact, you can see which direction this has to be. Um, I've got a really neat way to uh, set this up. And uh, hopefully, 
I might be able to show it off in the thumbnail if we're lucky. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Fold it down. And away we go. Back to uh, our new area. Yes, we're going to get this set up. And this is going to make getting logs off this hill so much easier. So looking at this, I think the slope on this side is far less steep than the other side. So we're going to approach it from here. So I'm going to turn in and off the road up here. And then that will give us easier access into our logging area. Around over the bridge, which is why I didn't turn in earlier. And then our area is straight in front of us here. So, yeah, this is much less steep, I think. Although, actually, no, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, even this is struggling to get up here at full pelt. But our machine is up here. So what I'm going to do is try and get us into a good position where maybe we can send all of this down and straight to our logging camp. Yeah, I can see a fairly straight run. Um, pretty much where our excavator is, to be honest. So let's back this off and turn it a bit. Then we might have to do a little bit of clearance up here. There's a couple of uh, trees and things that are in the way. But if I place this here, I can get a clear shot from here down to a tree in our camp. So let's uh, unfold the yard up, lower it down like that. Uh, oops. Up, right and turn it on or can I just grab this let's see uh, set up yard rope so grab that and off down to our logging camp so this is why it would have been good to have left some uh, fairly big trees down here I think that is probably going to be to the wrong place Oh, uh, it's too small. What about this one? This one might do the trick. Yeah, that would do the trick and bring it right into our camp. So let's set that as a rope target. Come straight across. I might even be able to park the trailer under it and, uh, and deliver them directly into that. That would be amazing. Uh, my biggest problem is actually I'd like to have taken it over here. But I think we've got rid of all the trees that we could attach it to. Uh, yeah, here would be uh, would probably be the better target. Straight across. I might actually do that, see if we can disconnect it maybe. Uh, I decided to reset it up and I'm going to set it to this tree here. This uh, brings it straight across here. We can bring it straight down, drop them off here. And then load them up onto the trailer. I think that is a much better way of sorting this. Uh, the yard is following me at the moment. So we won't worry about that. Um, but that's brilliant. Right across there, we are going to be able to empty pretty much this entire area onto this. Uh, we just need to cut the logs and bring them here. So uh, first tree I'm going to do is this one. Let's mark uh let's mark some trees actually because uh yeah that one i want to take out uh this one we want to take out can we do that yeah and this one oh no not that one that one has a yarder attached to it as does that one uh this one does not this one does not so yeah uh the other one it's attached to is over here so we want to be careful not to remove those trees. Yeah, this is why we're marking them. We want to know exactly where we are, uh, which trees we're taking down. So this is started up. Reverse it. Oh, let's let's turn ourselves. 
get into position and the idea is that we're going to cut six meter logs place them at the bottom of the yard here and uh, then with any luck uh we'll be good however uh this doesn't cut i forgot this does not cut we've got to cut the trees ourselves first so down you go like that start you up and this first tree we're doing uh that is a piece of dead wood anyway other way around give me some six meter lengths so we're doing uh, five meters at the moment. We want uh, Y, yep, yeah, six meters. Out, uh, out, down, and cut. And then I just turn this around, bring it in a little bit. I should be able to cut this here, like so. And then, We'll go cut this other tree as well. That is not dead wood, thankfully. Uh, so this one. Cut this in this direction. Away from our tractor. And once it's down, I've somehow got to get uh, my excavator here underneath that. Oh, that would work. Yeah, if we reach out and grab it. That will work. Yep, we're underneath. Where's my tree? There. Right, so turn that. Oh, I see what. I'm I'm stuck on a tree. That's why I can't move forwards. Yeah, let's cut this out because this is just annoying. So I should be able to get right down into there and get rid of that. Oh, that is some nice clearance from that. And then over here, come in. Uh, bring that onto there. Is that processor not going to pick that up? Nope. So again, we've got another bush here that needs to go. There we are. Clear that out. And I'm actually going to cut this tree as well then. To try and get the other one down and easier to access. Yeah, that one was laying on it. So we've got the yard are moving uh, back and forth because uh at the moment that's all the way around uh at the moment it's set to follow me down and in cut right bring this back and up and cut and then we'll see how much we can get onto the yarder here and uh and get back down to our base camp i think it's probably four or five of these logs that will do that. Right, let's grab this over here. Oh, we got so much wood that we can uh, we can play around with here. It's fantastic. This is uh, this is going to open everything back up to me. And someone was telling me that we how much we've still got to go on the roller coaster, and it's so much more than I thought we had. So uh, yeah. It's, it's going to be an interesting uh, time as we try and uh, continue and complete this. I think we may have to eventually put our tractor further back to do this properly. Because while we compile it at the bottom at the moment, uh, it is going to get harder and harder to do that. But I'm happy with this. This is uh, a nice little pile of wood we're creating here. That we're going to get transported back down to our logging camp. So the yard is following me here. We should be able to. Yes. Yeah. So now what I want to do is uh, attach to the tree there. And uh, there and there and there. So yeah, four seems to be the amount. Uh, let's lift the trees like that and then i want to turn off the follow mode and we want to send it down to our logging camp look at that go and then our logs arrive down here 
as higgledy piggledy as they are. Uh, so that is, we are under them now, and I should be able to drop them down. Oh, I'm going to want to step back. And yeah, that is uh, is going to be pretty effective. And I should be able to detach trees. Hey. And make a little pile of them there. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to um, get trees cut. We will get a pile down here and then somehow we'll get them loaded up because that is what's known as a mess. Best way I've found to do this is actually get it on follow mode and uh, then you can sort of move between your places fairly easily. Uh, so you can get this fairly in the middle. Um, yep, perfect. So, J to lift it all up. And then, uh, yeah, if I then tab down to here, uh, you can see that it's heading down towards me and uh, I don't have to wait very long and I don't have to move it manually. Yeah, the one thing you need to do is make sure you're just standing back a bit when you are lowering it down. And, uh, yeah, making your messy pile. So, uh, we want to detach trees. There we go. And now that I've done that, I'll stop the follow on the carriage. And, uh, yeah, we'll get our truck out and start loading these logs up and, uh, and see how we're doing. And maybe we can clear things up with our uh, wheel loader here a little bit and, uh, and make things work a little better. I'm very iffy about how well we would do loading these directly onto the logging trailer. They are all a little bit hickledy pickledy uh, for my liking. Um, which I love that people have not come across that phrase before. <laughs> That's a phrase that I've known since I was very young. And uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of love it. Okay, so looking at our pile, it all seems to be around this way mostly, except for a couple of uh a couple of logs so let's come into this like this see if this will straighten things out a bit grab it up lift it and do you know what that's worked fairly well it's not perfect uh they are very much all over the place um but it should be enough for us to lift most of them up and get them into there. Now, one thing that I can do with this, of course, I think, yeah, look at this. So, uh, attach that, lift it up and out the way. In fact, back into the pile. That's brilliant. That's completely out of my way now. And uh, yeah, I can just go and load these up. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> right, and then in and back it out and yeah and then we'll just reposition that top one and because we're using six meter ones uh they're going into there fairly easily um without too much hassle for what we'll uh, what we'll have at the back and we can still grab underneath here and rearrange them a bit as well perfect yeah this is going to work out really well we can get these down here really easily, load up our logging trailer, and uh, and have a, a much easier time of it than if we turned around and tried to do this uh, with the wheel loader here. We tried to get that up the hill every time and drive it down to the road. Uh, that would be much more of a pain than just getting uh, getting the logs down here uh, in uh, in batches. Uh, in fact, yeah, that's gone so much better than I could have hoped. Uh, working with the Yarder is going to make things infinitely easier. The next tree I'm going to take then is this one here. It's the next closest one and should do us fairly well. So we'll take that like that. And I think we need to take, well, we need to do at least three more trees of the size that we've been doing. Um, oh, that one there. We can uh, grab this one first and then back it out. So, cut that. And then I want one more nice 
cool one for us to do in here. Let's go for this. Uh, oh, I'm not allowed to cut this tree. What is that? Why am I not allowed to cut this tree? That was weird. That was very weird. It told me I wasn't allowed to cut this tree. And then I was. That's very, very strange. Not that one? Nope. We're all good. Right. Uh, yep. Our pit is back. That is going to be fun to pick up. Uh, but we should be able to do it. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Cut. Drag you back up the hill. And uh, cut you underneath there. And then, yeah, after each one, just to make things easier, I think I'm going to load it up and send it down to the bottom. That is stuck on something. In fact, that is stuck on that little tree there. So let's get rid of that. All right, so that's down here. And cut. All right, that. And that then frees up the big one. Perfect. All right, and back her up. Bring it to there. And then we're going to swing it round and cut it to length underneath our yarder so cut there we are nice pile there and we'll take the four biggest ones and get them transported back down to our main area so there 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 oh okay so we do have a maximum weight i forgot we had a maximum weight uh, uh come back here please you yeah, so we've got a maximum weight that can be attached at any given time. And we need to make sure that we don't exceed that. Let's lift this. And then put it back down again. So that we can attach that in the middle. Yeah, so these heavy ones, uh, that is something to be aware of. If you've got really heavy ones, uh, they are going to take a while uh, to get down because you can only take two of them at a time now what i'm doing now is i've worked out roughly where i want to drop the logs off so i move the other to there i press v that drops the logs and if we come down to here you can see i'm creating quite a nice pile you can see i'm roughly where i'm i'm trying to drop these and uh, and get them in the right place and then we just return the yarder back up here afterwards. Now, this one here is 963 kilograms. It's a really heavy log, and I've not been able to attach this and another log together uh, for this. I'm going to enable follow mode, so this comes back to me here. You can set it just to come straight back to the yarder, but because our logs are a little bit further down, um, I want to do this uh, to here. Right, lift it up a little bit and then bring it here. That way we can grab that and lift it up. And away they go back down to our drop-off point. And with that tree gone, we're going to grab the next one. Uh, let's get this down, cut, back her up. Oh, backwards, please. There we go. Uh, I want to swing it the other side of this. I think we're trying to go over a, um, uh, a stump here by the looks of things. That's why we're having trouble. I'm having to cut this uh, bush behind us out of the way. Okay, I've cut it. Let's get the last few vestiges out of it out of the way. And now we can go backwards again. There we are. Not incredibly fast, because we're trying to pull a very big tree up a hill. But we are at least going backwards. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, let's cut it. Get it underneath our uh, yarder so that we can transport these down. Nice little pile. And yeah, this is working really well. I am very, very happy with our progress here. And I think one more tree today should get us a full enough trailer to uh, to go and get working on the sawmill again 
annoyingly the uh the second let set of three logs uh i don't think we can send at once one and a half tons is the maximum for this yarder and we've got uh seven point uh seven hundred and eighty seven nine hundred and three and eight hundred eighty eight yeah these so if i go the lightest two so pull this back over here i don't think it's going to connect to this as well yeah so yeah one and a half tons so this is going to take three trips for these last three logs which is a little bit annoying i think for the last lot i might back this up a little bit drop the logs in that area there and uh yeah it gives me a little bit more space to maneuver we've got it is really nice way to get logs down to our yard here though that's brilliant and right and drop that off and back up to the top last log from this batch then and we'll connect it up and then head back down the bottom and it'll be back down here in no time uh let's lower it down as it comes in yeah oh into my pile go down oh come on slow down there we go and drop it there perfect right one more set of logs to get cut so let's jump back into this and grab the last tree which is not going to be easy i think best way to do this come through here to this side of this tree try and squeeze between our stumps there and then i'm gonna turn this and pick it up directly here like that that should then back it out from behind those trees there and allow us to uh to pull it up the hill if we're lucky with no problem yep that's worked really well fantastic right i need to turn around here uh bring this around let's switch to this view here Turn that a bit. Oh, that's a bit of a tight squeeze. There we go. So, a little bit further. I want to see. Yeah, there we go. Now we can see under the yarder. We can just cut this here and pile these up. And this should be enough, I think, to finish off our trailer for the day. Um, I've just realized where we are situated here, we could easily set this yarder to drop straight into our sawmill pond. Um, and I'm very tempted to have a go at that next time. Uh, maybe we'll turn the yard around and set it up to go uh, straight into the pond instead of having to load it up into our truck. Um, I say this because you look down there, there's the pond. Just, just the other side of those trees there. So we could uh, get a tree at the far side and set it up to that. Would be quite cool. Uh, right, what are our weights here? So I want to tag the heaviest, which is that one, with the lightest. So that, uh, what is that? 400. So that one there is 900. So that would work. Uh, that one there is 800. So that wouldn't. That one there is 100. And, okay. Uh, so that would work. That would, that might work. I don't think it will. No, that won't work. So, we're going to go with that one and that one. Oh, not quite. Okay, so uh, it'll be those two first. So, lift them up and send them down. Let's, uh, let's get these dropped off. I am finding the easiest way to do this is just to, to keep tabbing between my truck and my tractor. And, uh, and that way they're, uh, they're getting down here. You can very, very easily, uh, as I showed before, um, work out where you need to drop them uh, at which point and, uh, and just do it that way, which is uh, just as good a way to do it. Um, but I'm finding tabbing between the two just keep things moving fairly quickly and you don't have to worry too much about it. So which two are we going to take next? 887. 142 654 and 784 
these three will go together and then we just got the the 800 to do with the last run so there there and oh not quite okay i need to detach these then because um what have we got here 784 887 so okay so this one and this one need to go together so lift those up and out the way and we'll send those down and then this here yes stays under i hope the one and a half tons uh that uh, will allow us to transport them yep the last two came in under the one and a half tons and right Let's get that into the right place lower these down and then we can put them onto the pile and then we'll sort the pile out in a moment see if we can uh rework it with our wheel loader a bit and uh, and make for something quite good so let's do that and send that back up to the top while we try and uh, sort out this mess and get it loaded onto the trailer because yeah that is all over the place to so pull the pile around a little bit and uh, and got it so that there are various bits i can pull off the top and uh, and move around and, and make things a little bit easier for me to stack onto the trailer as well and uh, yeah they're going on there fairly well at the moment uh it's uh it is the whole thing whoa no uh it is the whole thing of trying to make sure that everything goes on without being at a complete angle there we are and yeah because look at that that is diagonally across there Whereas if I do that and back off, it should be all right. Yeah. There we go. Just need to push things around a little bit. Just to make sure that they sit in here, right? Like that. There we go. And uh, yeah, things are uh, looking okay. But this is what I mean about needing a bit more space. We could have, uh, could have done with putting them further up so that I could get at all sides of this pile eventually. And, uh, and have a much easier time of picking everything up. Um, but even even doing it this way, things aren't too bad. We're pulling them off a lot more symmetrical than we did with the first lot. Now that I now that I know how to uh, to approach the pile like this, and uh, and as a result, it's making it much easier to then get them stacked onto the trailer. Depth perception permitting, and uh, yeah, we uh, we can get this loaded up and delivered down to the sawmill. We're down to the last couple of logs. I'm gonna see if I can get these two in together. That just probably means doing some rearranging a little bit. So bring that one in like that. Yeah, look at that. Push them into uh, to being roughly same point i'm happy with that Ooh, not so happy with that there we go uh, get under that and lift there we are and put this on the back so we possibly could fit another couple of trees into this i think uh there's uh we haven't extended the top of our uh yellow poles on here so they have space to extend and even without doing that i think there's space to fit a couple more logs on here so uh yeah i think we could fit a uh, probably another two trees on here i'm not going to do that today we're going to strap all these down take them down to the sawmill um because i want to get this stuff processing um but yeah we are nicely set up and i'm gonna leave my tractor and all of the yard and everything set up so that we can come and uh, and have another crack at that uh, in the near future. Uh, this though is uh, is going to be good. I'm going to go and deliver these down to the sawmill. Um, but I think that is all the work we're going to be doing on our logging here today on Silver Run Forest. And that means all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Bertram Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.